Hello and welcome back to Timber Bitch. Today I'm going to be teaching you about Mount Harkness, a shield volcano that sits in Lassen's southeast corner of the park the trees that you would typically find in the Cascade Range, as well as the importance of the fire lookout on Mount Harkness. Lassen resides in the southernmost region of the Cascade Range, hugging the Great Basin, as well as the Sierra Nevadas. The base of Mount Harkness stands at around 6,500 feet and its peak at 8,000. This is known as the Montane Zone, and the trees you see in front of you typically only grow at this elevation range. In terms of trees, the montane zone typically consists of only mixed conifer. I'm sure there are hardwood trees in other places at this elevation range, but on Mount Harkness, I only saw conifers. The conifers we saw the most of were red fir, western white pine, and mountain hemlock. We had to remove the most of these because they tend to grow closely together. They were encroaching on the Harkness lookout and would eventually become a fire hazard in the future if they were not removed. Another species that we removed as well was ponderosa pine, although we removed much fewer of these. They tended to be bigger and they were more of a visibility issue for the Harkness lookout. A few instant cedars were up there as well, but I think I maybe removed around five of them and they were all fairly small. This is one of my favorite places in the park and it was an honor to get to do cross-cut work up here. The Harkness Fire Tower Lookout was built in 1931 and has a truly unique design because it was built before FDR established the Civilian Conservation Corps, or CCC. One of the main things that the CCC is known for is doing emergency conservation work. This included erecting over 600 fire tower lookouts in the span of just a couple years. The design that they created in 1933 is pretty much the standard for today in creating fire tower lookouts, so they all tend to look the same. But since this one was built before that standardization, it has a lot of unique elements like the cobblestone, it's much larger, it's much taller, and overall just really, really beautiful. Another interesting element about the Harkness Fire Tower Lookout is that I think it's one of four backcountry fire tower lookouts that still exist today. So it's really remote and you have to hike everything up there, which makes it pretty challenging. They do one helicopter drop per year to get resources up there. But other than that, whatever you bring on your back is what you've got up there. In the 1970s, Edward Abbey was actually stationed up here as a lookout and finished writing his memoir, Desert Solitaire, while he was working here. As you can see, the views are pretty good. On a clear day, you can see 80 miles in any direction, but you can also see that some of the trees lying low around the rim do obscure the ability to see ridge lines. And as these trees get older and taller, it's going to become more of an issue.
Mbak Log. I could help you carry it. Just trash. Yeah, yeah, on this side of the mountain, everybody be careful. There's actually like a good bit of wire. Yeah. Okay. Like coat hangers and stuff like that too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of big pieces of broken glass too. But Perfect to go right between your knee and your kneecap. Oh. Ugh. Yuck. Pensive. Nice. Oh yeah. That pensive? That's it. Mm. Michael like, Pensive. Now look like, like a pencil. No, look like a pencil? Yeah. Mm, actually. Oh. It's beautiful. It's, like some it's perfect. Yoga.